Yeah, um, well, you know, health issues are health issues, and my dad got a lung transplant, so I took three years off, and I'm just now, in 2017, getting back to work, um, and was his my dad's health advocate for three years. So, you know, there's really, it's just hard when anyone's struggling through an ailment like that, something that can take your life. It's, uh, you gotta show up for one another, and. And, and be there the best that you can through through something so difficult. Uh, well, personally, uh, you know, I watched my grandmother uh, suffer a stroke and lose the uh, ability to speak, and uh, she lived another ten years after that happened. So uh, I would go visit her every once in a while, and it was it was, uh, it was deep, painful, yeah. But uh, you know, it's something we all deal with at some point or another. Do that. Um, yes, my, um, my grandma actually passed away and she had Alzheimer's, um, so I, I, have, I come from a huge family, so I, I have six older siblings. By the time I was born, I had only met one of my grandparents and, and that was her, so she'd already had Alzheimer's, so I never got to know her, who she really was, who her real personality was. I only knew her once she had this disease and started going through the memory loss, but um, I was definitely there, even as a young kid, helping my mom when you know things start going downhill and the bathing and the feeding and the caretaking. And it's hard, you know. I, I, I saw how hard it was on my mom and how hard it was on my mom's sister, my aunt. Um, but you know, it's you do what you do. You do what you what needs to be done, and you you care for the people that have cared for you previously. And that's just that's what a family does. It was my grandmother who suffered with memory loss, um, and my family sort of coping with that. Um, you know, uh, struggling with that and how it's sort of. You know, the kind of tightrope between hilarity and heartbreak that is like, you know, when your hearts are about to break, sometimes you're laughing loudest. So, um, yeah.